Hey everybody, just going to make a quick tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to create a new state and that's just going to be the menu state. Essentially we're going to have a screen that comes before the game and this will lead us into having you know maybe a pause menu or whatever else um, we end up creating. So that being said, let's jump into it. <clears throat> First thing we're going to do is take our current uh, game state that take our game state and we're just going to copy and paste it. We're going to call it menu state. All right, there's going to be some changes. So instead of requiring world here, we're actually going to grab our game state in this file in game state. This is going to be menu state in menu state that's what we're returning and we're not going to do anything with world here we're going to do nothing inside of the tick and nothing inside of our render <clears throat> that's just for now we will be doing something in here so in our click we're going to say var game state is equal to a new game state passing in this dot handler which we set up here in our super okay <clears throat> now we will just say state dot set state is equal to our set state passing in game state this should be everything we need in this file to get us to be able to click and go to our game now we're going to see a completely white screen essentially so now one thing we need to do is come into our game and where we have game state here we're going to change it to menu state because we want to start off oops state we want to start off in our menu state so down in our init initialize function where we actually are setting our state we're going to set it to a new menu state. We're going to call it menu state. And we're going to pass in menu state. So when we first start off, we're going to be in our menu state, eventually ticking and rendering our menu state. Now we need to come into our app.js underneath launcher here. We're going to say menu state. And that's in app slash classes slash states slash menu state. So we've got that there. We've added our menu state here. Okay. Everything seems good there. And let's see what happens when we try to run it. We'll just refresh here. And nothing is going on at all. Um, but, as you see, when we click, bam, we're right back into our game. So, this was just going to be a quick tutorial. Next, maybe the next tutorial, what we'll do is, uh, maybe we'll add some buttons. So, that is all I wanted to go over, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.